Not long ago, Gary Verwer's heart problem would have been a death sentence. I wasn't getting enough blood flow, enough oxygen. The 76-year-old needed open-heart surgery to replace an aortic valve, but he'd had a bypass operation years ago that complicated things. And at that time, they ran the mammary artery right behind the sternum. So if they saw through it again, uh, he was going to saw through the artery. To save him, Verwer's doctors took a cutting-edge approach that didn't require saws, surgery, or even a long hospital stay. Last April, surgeons used a catheter, or hollow tube, to wind an artificial valve through the blood vessels and into the heart. The new valve was then opened inside Verwer's old failing valve. This is the replacement for the surgeon's knife. This is the, uh, instead of opening the chest, we're able to put catheters in through the leg, sometimes through the arm, to make a very tiny hole to get into the bloodstream to take things up to the where this blocked valve is. Before, the technique could only unclog arteries, but now doctors can use tiny tools and tubes to fix valves, irregular heartbeats, holes in the heart, and other defects with less downtime. We could see eventually technology moving to not only make it less risky for the patient, but also perhaps less costly for the health system. Not everyone is a candidate for these through-the-vein treatments, and some aren't yet widely used. Others are in clinical trial, but they're transforming heart care. And what this technology has done is allowed to expand uh, th these patients' uh, lives. Once unable to walk from room to room, Verwer is now golfing once again. Noel Wagorn, The Associated Press.